There are some persons who have been blessed. There are others who are carrying curses. That is why some people come to church and say, eh, man of God, the Bible says, who, who, he who finds a wife, finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. But since I found my wife, no good thing is coming. The church has to look, Christian men and Christian women, has to look beyond how much the man is having in his bank account. And the shape of the woman, how fair and how artistic uh, the woman is. And still look into what the woman carries in her spirits. Praise the Lord. Because there are some persons, the Bible says, he who joins himself with the Lord becomes one spirit with the Lord. But in verse 17, the Bible says, in verse 16, he who joins himself with a prostitute becomes one body with that prostitute. By the time you join yourself with anybody at all and consummate the marriage through sexual relationship, you become one flesh with the person. You don't just share blessings in marriage, you share the causes too. Whosoever you are getting married to, I know I'm talking to somebody in this house. The woman should not just carry your children in her womb. She should be able to carry your destiny and help you to fulfill your destiny. When you align yourself with somebody who is carrying the anointing to fail, you are bound to fail, except God does something. This marks, they can be physical, they can be spiritual, they can even be marks in your spirit. Apostle Paul made a statement in Galatians chapter 6 verse 17. He said, from henceforth, let no man, no man, does what? Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. 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 Henceforth, henceforth, let nobody, henceforth. including you, including trouble, me, trouble me. For I bear, for I bear. in my body Somebody said the marks, the marks, the marks, the marks of, the of the Lord Jesus. Say amen. amen. 